Hello and welcome back to the channel. So it goes without saying that I absolutely love Raspberry Pi projects and I've gone over different Raspberry Pi cyber decks, different Raspberry Pi builds in my long videos and in my short videos numerous times. As a matter of fact, you're almost guaranteed to see a Raspberry Pi video from me maybe, I want to say like three or four times a week. It's kind of become a reoccurring thing and I love Pi projects. But this Pi project is kind of special. This is the Clockwork Pi U console by the Clockwork Company. And they're sold out all the time. Matter of fact, if you buy one, you might get one in like six months if you're lucky. And that's if you order one without a CM4, which I definitely recommend that you do. You, you want to put a CM5 in this thing. So this is my personal U console that I purchased, I want to say a year ago. And I love it. It's my favorite cyber deck. But we will also be putting together a Carbon Computers Clockwork Pi Cyberdeck, which Carbon Computers is an authorized reseller for the U console, and that can be very convenient, especially when it comes to waiting insane wait times. And it comes with a lot more features than you might think. The Carbon Computer Cyber Deck come with different backplates if you so wish, so you can actually add an active cooler, which can come in handy, especially since the CM5 runs hot. I mean, not too hot. I'm literally just using a passive cooler and it's working just fine. But having an active cooler allows you to kind of push your Pi's limits and that can come in handy. Now, first we're gonna start off with the keyboard. It's not too clicky and it's not too squishy. It's a perfect in-between and it feels like really high quality. The trackball, although some people do not like it, I'm a huge fan of this trackball. I like the whole Blackberry feel, Palm Pilot feel. The left click, right click right here kind of matches while you're using the trackball. I like the D-pad. The D-pad is definitely something that comes in handy. You've got the uh, uh, X, B, A, Y buttons right here on the side. Now the screen is nice, we'll be going over what it looks like, but it's not touch screen. I, I've had people email me asking, oh, I, you know, I switched to a CM5 and you know, the touch screen doesn't work and it's, no, no, there's, there's no touch screen. It does have built-in speakers and we'll be going over the assembly process in a second, going over the uh, Carbon Computers custom U console. But uh, the screws on the U console are all exactly the same. So you get pretty much one Allen key and it opens up everything. On the right side or left side, depending on how you want to interpret it, you've got a USB port, a micro HDMI port, USB-C, and audio jack. And this is the perfect amount of I.O. As a matter of fact, the carrier board in the Clockwork Pi U console is one of the coolest carrier boards that I've ever seen. You could build anything into it and it's amazing. I like the fact that they added an SMA antenna expansion port here on the side. If you're using the Hacker Gadgets uh, all-in-one, this is where your I.O., your expanded I.O. will be. And we'll be building the all-in-one with it as well, so that's awesome. Now next we're going to test the boot time and see how fast it actually starts up. With it, we've got a CM5 with 8 gigs of RAM and it's a CM5 Lite with wireless, which is exactly just the right amount for a cyber deck. You can put a 16 gigabyte RAM CM5. I believe that might be a little bit overkill, but whatever floats your boat. So now let's test it out. We're going to press the on and off button one time and see how fast it starts up. Okay, we got the splash screen, clockwork splash screen. And that's it, start it up instantly. Now there are different OS's that you can put on. I've heard a, a few issues when it comes to Kali, but it's it, it runs just fine. And as long as you have your antenna plugged into the right SMA, um, you're, you're good. Just make sure you're using a 2.4 gigahertz antenna and not just any antenna you have laying around. I, uh, I've, I've, I've heard a couple of, uh, a couple of strange stories. Terminal works great where you can sudo apt, update. Let's update our U console. Now we can sudo apt auto remove, but you pretty much get it. It, it. The keyboard just feels perfect in your hands. And if you wanted to actually take your two hand experience and give it a handle, you have these handles that you can 3D print yourself and that are available on the Carbon Computers website and just place it just like that. 
and you're good to go. Now what I'm about to show you next truly blew my mind. And I'm saying this because it comes with a lot more features than the U console that you get stuck from the Clockworks website. So I've shown you what my U console looks like. Now let me show you what the Carbon Computer's U console looks like. Because it comes with a whole lot of features. And yeah, it does have the Hacker Gadgets SDR mod and I also have a Hacker Gadgets SDR mod and I will be going over the Hacker Gadgets SDR all-in-one V2 very soon because I made sure to order it because it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's got an ethernet jack and that's definitely something I need. But let me show you why I think the Carbon Computers U console is truly special. So I kind of had to spoil it for myself and I couldn't help but want to look at what it looked like and this is just unreal. I mean, yeah, you still get the regular face finish that comes with every U console and I love this black on black look, but you have the, like, this is so cool. The back plate is CNC'd. This is, like, it's CNC'd. It feels exactly like the front face. And I believe this is a magnetic tray. You've got a passive cooler on the back, an active cooler right here on the side, this is so cool. And uh, this is the all-in-one uh, antenna mount on the top for GPS, Wi-Fi, your uh, main, I believe uh, the main board's Wi-Fi, your LoRa, and of course SDR. This is truly exceptional. It's a, it feels a lot like, uh, let me show you guys. It's, now the U console has two 18650s in the back. The carbon computers option, you also have the option for uh, the 18650s, but instead they've put a LiPo battery. And that's what we're gonna tear this open and take a look at what's on actually on the inside. But this is truly exceptional. I mean, truly exceptional. I, I think this is fantastic. Having an active cooler and a passive cooler is amazing. Just that, that's a solid heat sink right there. Now this I think is truly amazing. You have a magnetic back plate for you to swap out the battery. And it's a solid plate. So all you have to do is you can unplug and replug the battery if you want to completely disconnect everything. And we can just drop it just like that. Just, it feels perfect. And I love how this looks. Now this, this is, I mean, this is overkill, but it's amazing. I really like how this looks. So we've got an antenna for a GPS, two Wi-Fi antennas, a LoRa antenna, and an SDR radio antenna. Well, it's an RTL SDR, so it's only for receiving. This isn't for, let's say, transmitting, but that is extra, extra long. Like that is uh, full, I wanna say two feet, over two feet, three feet. Oh, how far is that? That's, that's huge. I, I do but have to say, the custom U console, the fact that it has a LiPo instead of an 18650, and it's got a CM5 with an active cooler, this is very nice, man. Now, we've got it running Kali Linux right now, and I wouldn't say this is really as fast to boot as, let's say, Bookworm, but it's, uh, I mean, it's doable. And having the all-in-one expansion board, I, I do have to say, it, it makes it a very, very multifunction device, but not having the 18650s right here, it just feels better. Like it feels like a better device. This is a way better backplate than the original backplate. Now we got it running Kali, and you, I want you to keep in mind that the Hacker Gadgets All-in-One expansion board was pretty much made for Debian. So Rex's image works fine. It's actually the exact image that I have in my U console. So you'll experience uh, difficulties trying to get it to run on, let's say, Kali. And we have every single feature that you could possibly need right at the palm of your hands. I love that there's a LiPo battery. I love that there's a magnetic tray. Active cooler is definitely a win. This CNC backplate just makes sense, man. And it is got to be the best U console that I've ever put my hands on. It's that good. 
I mean, every U console should come like this. Honestly, I can't tell you how many times I've had to dis dis disassemble my uh, my U console to access the batteries. I'm I, I'm truly appalled by how uh, like the craftsmanship, man, is amazing. Now the all-in-one expansion board is uh, it it is nice, but it, it bats some eyes. It definitely bats some eyes. Now I love going over different types of cyber decks, and so far up until this point, my favorite cyber deck was the Pi Terminal because it was small, it fits in your hands, and you know it was field ready. This is also just like that, except when you take out the all-in-one expansion board and you've got a cyber deck full of antennas, it can bat some eyes and it can kind of look bad. So although I do love the all-in-one expansion board, it's it's a lot. It's it's definitely a lot. It's a whole thing. But the back plate makes complete sense. Carbon Computers did a good job with the CNC. They also offer it in 3D printing, but CNC is definitely the way. The magnetic back plate makes sense. Active cooler makes sense. And with Hacker Gadgets dropping new boards and new upgrades for the U console, it's almost as if it was made for all that. And I like that. If you enjoyed watching this video, maybe consider subscribing and liking and leaving a comment because it helps the algorithm and it helps us continue making these videos without being like, this video is sponsored by War of Whatever Tanks or something. I'm, I can't tell you how annoyed I get when I watch those videos and I don't ever want, I'll, I'll, this, this will never be that channel. I thank you guys so much for all the love and support. If you were interested in snagging yourself a Carbon Computers U console, then you can do so on their website, which is carboncomputers.us. And for a discount, use our code MAYHEM. Also, aside from their custom U consoles, they have a variety of different custom cyber decks, which we'll be going over more and more as time passes because they have a lot of different cyber decks. And I love their cyber decks. Their mini PCs are also really cool too. They've got bootable USBs, bootable drives, different types of bootable drives. And yeah, we've gone over how to make your own bootable drive, but they've got cyberpunk looking multi-boot and I, I, I like it. I, I like what they do. And I like that it's all based here in the great old USA. And we need more of that. But we hope you like this video. We hope you like this case because this, <laughs> I almost don't want to send it back. We'll see you next time.